I have no questions I want to speak. Democrats have been consistently wrong about inflation. This hearing is yet more evidence that they remain clueless about the economies of inflation and are in denial about the role played by their reckless spending. At the start of 2021, Democrats told us inflation was nothing to worry about as they pushed ahead with a $2 trillion liberal spending spree. According to them, the real risk to our economy was spending too little. Now imagine that. This argument never had any basis in reality. At that point, Congress had spent as much on the pandemic and inflation-adjusted dollars as we had waging World War II. Democrats ignored common sense, and they ignored the warnings of very prominent economists. This included Larry Summers, who held top posts in the Obama and Clinton administration, who cautioned that Democrats' $2 trillion partisan spending spree, quote, set off inflationary pressures of a kind we have not seen in a generation, end. Since then, Democrats have been trying to explain away inflation. In April 2021, President Biden told us inflation was due to base effects from prices being suppressed during the pandemic. In June, we were told inflation was merely transitory and the result of bottleneck in supply chains. These remained the favored lines of arguments until October, when inflation surged to six and two-tenths percent. At that time, the highest rate in 31 years, President Biden finally recognized inflation as a problem and claimed to address it with his quote-unquote top priority. However, instead of admitting government spending was a main contributor, would you believe it? He sought to argue that, that the solution was spending trillions more. Now, can you imagine that? Thankfully, the American people weren't buying it. More importantly, common sense Democrats like Joe Manson didn't buy it either. It's now clear high inflation endangers Democrats' reckless tax and spending agenda. As a result, Democrats are grasping at straws to find a scapegoat, hence blaming inflation on corporate greed. Never mind that economists across the political spectrum overwhelmingly reject the theory 79% of the economists responding to a Chicago Booth School of Business survey said they disagreed that quote-unquote dominant corporation is the cause of today's inflation. Jason Furman, President Obama's chief economist, has stated that, quote, corporate greed is a bad theory of inflation, end of quote, and called such arguments, quote-unquote, a sideshow. Larry Summers has called such arguments, quote-unquote, diversionary, and Benjamin Page, a senior fellow at Liberal Tax Policy Center, has called them, quote-unquote, red herring. The current Democratic rhetoric would be amusing if not for the disastrous consequences that could result from misdiagnosing the cause of inflation. The current focus on so-called corporate greed risks taking us down the failed road of the 1970s style price controls and windfall profit tax. Anyone who lived through that time can tell you that these policies made things worse than redu by reducing supply. The result was rampant shortages, most notably gas lines around the block. Let's not repeat the mistakes of the past. I yield back my time. Thank you very much, Senator Whitehouse. Thank you very much. Um, Secretary Rice, you've said that corporate profits are at a 70-year <clears throat> high. My recollection from my economics classes is that 